In this section, you will add additional detail to your drawings by adding elements such as arcs and circles to your design. Here, you will be drawing the countertop which will comprise a sushi bar and adding a handicap turnaround circle. We are going to continue in the proposed restaurant DGN file, but before we start our next task, we are going to set the active level to a floor woodwork. So our next task is to create the curved countertop. To create the curved countertop for the sushi bar, we will utilize the place arc tool. Arcs can be placed clockwise or counterclockwise. Where an arc is constrained by a snap, such as a tangent or perpendicular, more than one result is possible. MicroStation displays icons representing each possible result. In these cases, we will use the pointer to select the required solution. So to begin, from the placement ribbon group, we'll pick the place arc tool. In the tool settings window, let's set the following options. For the method, this will be start, end, mid. For the radius, 9,450. For the direction, CW. Now that our tool is set, we'll snap to the end point of the interior wall near column B5. We'll issue a data point here to identify the start of the arc. As we move our cursor away from this point, take notice in the tool settings window of a new setting, solution. Along with this, you will also notice that there are some on-screen dynamics as well. As shown, the current solution, zero, is not desirable. Conversely, solution one is. You can either select the correct solution from the drop-down menu in the tool settings or press the Alt key. So, from the keyboard, we're going to press the Alt key to ensure that solution 1 is selected and move the cursor slightly up to see the update. We'll snap to the endpoint of the interior wall near column B6 and issue a data point to identify the end of the arc. For our next step, we will create lines for the depth of the countertop. So go ahead and activate the Place Smart Line tool. We'll go ahead and place a 1,220 millimeter long line at 90 degrees at both the beginning and end of the countertop arc that was previously created. So we need to switch back to the place arc tool. And in the tool settings window, we'll set the following. For the method, center start. For all the other settings, we'll leave them to be disabled. Next, we'll press the F11 key to bring AccuDraw into focus. From the keyboard, we'll press the C key. This will invoke the AccuDraw shortcut center snap. Now, we'll hover the cursor over the existing countertop arc and issue a data point. Next, we'll snap to the upper endpoint of the vertical line on the left that was placed for the countertop and issue a data point. We'll sweep the arc in a clockwise fashion. Then, snap to the upper endpoint of the right vertical line that was placed for the countertop. To complete the arc, we'll issue a data point. Next, let's fit the view. For our next task, we are going to create a wheelchair turnaround. In order to meet the requirement for the Disabilities Act, we need to demonstrate space for wheelchairs to turn around. To aid in the eventual layout of the fixtures and toilet partitions, we will place 1,524 millimeter wheelchair turnaround circles inside of both restrooms. So from attributes, we're going to set the following. For the level, a anno text, and for the line style, three. Next, make place circle the active tool. Coming into the tool settings window, we're going to set the following. For the method, center, and for this, we are going to disable the diameter radius option. Coming into the view, we're going to issue a data point in one of the restrooms. In the distance field of the AccuDraw window, we'll key in 762. We'll issue a data point to place the circle. As an alternative method for precision placement, 
In the tool settings, you can set either the diameter or radius to place circles of an exact size. That being said, in the tool settings window, we're going to enable diameter and then set the diameter to be 1524. And we'll place this circle in the second restroom. During this lesson, you learned how to draw arcs and circles while applying precision placement via AccuDraw. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.